Hi guys, you're welcome to Web Technologies. We are still on Laravel for beginners. We're going to be talking about Laravel rapid authentication and configuration. Laravel has some authentication features right out of the box. Let me show you how to do this. I'll actually be creating a new Laravel project. So right there in my terminals, I'm going to change directory to the Laravel project that houses all Laravel projects. So inside here, I'm going to issue out the command to create a new Laravel project. So I said Laravel new. Let's call it example. I'm going to add the development session to it. So it is actually going to create uh, a new Laravel project right inside the Laravel project folder. Now we have it, uh, the application is ready and it has been built. We'll need to generate the background file and the homestead.yaml file. So I'm going to run this command to actually generate that. PHP vendor, for slash bean, homestead, and make. So we haven't installed homestead so I'm going to run this command first before I actually do that composer require Laravel homestead uh, development so we actually actually need uh, the homestead right inside this particular project so we're going to exercise little patience for this to actually create before we run the make command to actually generate the vagrant file and the homestead dot y AML file. By there, I've created the Homestead right inside this project directory. Now I'm going to run this command to actually create the Vagrant file and also the Homestead dot YAML file. So I'm going to run this to actually make. So we have Homestead installed. So from here, I'm actually going to go to the structure of the files. Uh, whereby I have Laravel project back example, and I have two projects. If you can notice, the new project which I've been using in the previous uh, tutorials. I have another one called example, and I have uh, the Homestead dot uh, yaml file. Let me quickly open these and let's get to look at some of the configurations we have inside there uh, we have the map home the Laravel, Laravel project example we are mapping it to this uh, particular folder and uh, we are actually giving a database of homestead and uh, let's not forget I'm actually going to uh, make it look exactly like what we have right there in the new project so let me actually look at the Homestead YAML of the new project. So I'm actually going to make a comparison and I want it. We have the folders, Home Delaray Laravel project. Let me see maybe we are on the same page. Home Delaray Laravel project example. I'm going to take away this example. Now we are mapping it to Home Vagrant code which is home vagrant code as we are mapping it to that's fine and uh, afterwards we have the sites whereby uh, it's the homestead.app which is for the previous homestead home vagrant code new project and uh, public this is actually going to be the example.app to home vagrant code instead of new project we have example the public Yes, that's fine. Uh, we have it set appropriately. We save that right there. Um, uh, we're going to move further to actually do some other things. So I'm actually going to open the folder with brackets so that uh, brackets are actually going to handle the source code. 
after this i'm going to go to the terminals whereby i'm actually going to make a vagrant up and i'm actually going to eat the vagrant box of this particular uh project structure right in the vagrant so let me quickly uh bring the vagrant up let me clear this first so i'm going to run vagrant up to actually bring up the vagrant box that's nice that's nice i've been able to fix that now i have the vagrant box up so i'm actually going to uh, move into the vegan box uh, which is a copy so i'm going right there that's fine so i'm going to change directory to this particular source code example that's fine so this is where we actually want to be so let me run php artisan so we actually going to make reference to the make authentication as the make art can you notice this right there the make art which is a scaffold basic login and registration views and routes so that's fine and i'm actually going to make uh, our first authentication so i'm actually going to run this php artisan make authentication that's make art so we have the authentication scaffolding generated successfully so let me get to look at that right in the bracket io which is actually going to be the let me let me open it again I think I have it right larva projects so or let me open it right from here open a folder larva projects example so I'm actually going to open it okay we have it this way so I'm going to the app so let's get to look at the route we're going to find that uh, right there in the route and uh, the web PHP we're going to see the authentication if you notice we have the authentication for the route being uh, created and that's fine uh, that takes us to the EMV file uh, which is actually going to undo this is like the metadata of uh, this particular application whereby we have the DB connection which is our uh, MySQL and uh, that takes us down to the database uh, where we're going to actually create our own uh, migration database so we're actually going to uh, visit the database PHP you know so that we'll be able to make uh, some changes right there in the so right there in the config we have the database the php about we have the default connection as mysql we have other connections like sqlite mysql and postgres uh, you can see them right there so i'm going to actually change the default connection to sqlite because this is a file base uh, database quite simple to create and maintain you know sqlite so we're actually going to be creating the database part which is right in the database over here and we're going to be creating the database.sqlite you know based on the emv uh caller which is the db database just like what we actually see here which is the db you know connection so back to the database uh, let's save that since we've changed the connection to SQLite. So from here, I'm actually going to create uh, a database called SQLite. So I'm back to a terminus. Oh, not the GK sudo. 
the second terminal over there. However, I'm going to actually run a command called touch. Database. Database. SQL light. Just this way. Touch database, database with SQL. Now we have that created. We'll go back to structure right here inside the database structure. Let me refresh the file tree. Now we have the database SQLite. So we're going to actually do something here quickly. Back to the EMV. Uh, we can just take away this or this. Let's take it. Let's take it away. Uh, save it. And we need to migrate our database. So back to terminals. We're going to run PHP artisan migrate. Let me clear out. After changing connection to SQLite, we're going to run this command PHP artisan migrate. That's fine. We've actually migrated our database successfully. So I'm going back to the browser where I actually want to check out uh, the source. Or I'm going to run example example.app. You know that's the domain name of this particular application created. So let's quickly look at this. Can you see this? This is the Laravel uh, page which was created out of the box. We have the login and register portion. This is the aspect I'm actually going to talk about. Click on the login. Uh, we are going to have the login screen. How about we have the email address and password, and also the register to actually get us registered, you know. And uh, let's get to look at uh, the login and restriction section right in the source. So back to bracket IO. And I have to actually uh, go to the resources. Let's quickly look at that the resources and uh, the views where I have the authentication. Can you see it? That's the authentication. They actually get the authentication done. We are about we have the passwords uh, and also we're going to have the email that actually goes onto the password, the login, and the register. So that's just the structures that brought out that UI you saw earlier on. This for the login. This for the register. You know. So afterwards, uh, you notice that it actually uh, redirects. So let's actually go back to the browser and let's create the first user. I call it Bamdeli Peters. The email address of Bamdeli. Example.com password so let's get registered uh, if you notice we are actually directed to the home page you know uh, what about you notice over here after a successful registration we're directed to the home page so let's get to look at that where it's actually sitting right in the source. Back to bracket IO. I'm going to the routes, the web.php. So once it navigates down to the home page, it's going to call on the home controller. So by we're going to move to the controller. I should know this by now because I've actually explained explicitly on controllers, views, layout files, and so on. So back to the controllers, I have the home controller. You know, uh, if you notice, we create a new controller instance. You know, this actually is a boilerplate that was created out of the box from Laravel. And we have this particular middleware authentication. You know, a middleware is just like the user logic. You know, they actually do some things right out of the box, you know, for you. And it's very, very important for authentication processes right there in Laravel. For example, if you have an application and uh, you want to do some maintenance and it's down you know you can easily run something of this nature 
uh, back to the terminals. We can run PHP artisan down. Now application is now in maintenance mode. Once you try to look at this right in your browser, you notice uh, saying be right back. These are all created right out of the box inside the authentication kernel. Let's get to look at uh, something else quickly. So now it's down and let's bring it up. So for you to actually bring it up, run PHP artisan. Actually, bring it up nice live. So, back to our text editor, uh, we have the kernel.php. You know, this is actually housing uh, some middlewares. You know, this is for the check for maintainers, which I actually showed you not far long. And uh, we have some other middleware authentication. You know, for example, the authenticate class. You know, Probably you want a session of those registered in your application to actually have access to a particular page. You know, this is where you actually make this work, or you want those that are paid to have access to a specific page, and those that won't to just maintain on their views or some pages. You have to do some authentication, uh, which is actually handled by the middleware. So that's uh, a lot of things that the middleware also handles. Now, whereby we need to just probably we forgot the password. So this is, these are things that are actually uh, right very tough if you are creating the user profile. You are creating a login page. You are also creating uh, a sort of register at the same time. You are doing a forgot password. You know, at the at the time it could be very tedious. You have a sub, it's something of this nature. They forgot your password and you actually want uh, to uh, get this done, you know. So let's actually do something here quickly. Uh, bam, daily as example. Let me pick it again. Probably you forgot this password. So you want to send the password reset link. Are you actually going to trigger an error? Because let's be patient to see what comes up. Aha. Uh -huh. You have the Swift transport exception because we have we have actually not uh, set up a mail server yet, so we need to actually set up a mail server to undo this. So let's move back to a text editor. About go to the EMV file. Right there in the mail driver, can you see SMTP, which was created out of the box, and uh, you can actually edit this. You can integrate your own kind of mail server. So we'll actually be looking at the options available for us. We'll be going to the config, you know, how about we have it over here, the config, and uh, we have the mail.php, you know. This is where, if you notice, the driver is SMTP, and also the host, also SMTP. We have other uh, useful aspects that we can actually use we have some supported ones. We can use the send mail. We can use mail gun, mandrill, uh, spark post, log, or array. You know, we're actually going to actually uh, use the uh, the log so so that we can know what is actually happening behind the box. So I'm actually going to change the driver to log. So that's actually going to make you want to make use of the log functionality. So we're going to save that right there. We're going to go back. To browser, you know. Let me take a step backwards. Um, refresh. That's fine. So I'm going to retype this. I'll send the password link. Oh, still saying we still uh, not set up the main server correctly. Uh, back to text editor if I can remember I haven't registered this in the EMV file I only did that right in the driver so I need to also specify the 
the mail driver as log. You know, save this out there. I'll go back to the browser. It's then backwards. Uh, refresh. So we're going to actually get this done. Click the mail. Send the password reset. If you notice, we have emailed your password reset link. You know, these are uh, is actually in reality. You know, it is used uh, by the log driver to perform the email. So we're going to actually see where this uh, link to, which will go back to our text editor. Now we're going to the storage. We we'll try to collapse all this. Now we're moving to the storage. What about we're going to look at the logs? And uh, the Laravel log. So let's get these are all uh, input and output done you know, during the course of this particular application structure. Now, if you should notice something here, it said, Hello, you are receiving this email because we received a password reset request for your account. So reset your password now. So this is just the link that will actually enable you to reset the password which uh, you, if you notice, there's always a link, you know, when you are trying to reset your password, you'll be given a URL link. Once you click on the link, you have the ability to reset the password. So this is just the link, which will be used. Now back to, let me open another tab, then paste that right in. And you see that we have the ability now to reset the password. So it's still going to be same email address I passed in earlier over there. Now the password I can now add it to as a new password. New password. That's fine. So we set the password. Now you have it reset, and now you've logged in back into the session. So you can see how authentication is actually working. This is an introduction to authentication right there in Laravel 5.4. We'll be talking in details in other high level authentication about you need to do. But for a start, a start of your project, this is actually uh, enough for you to get started wherever you have your login working, you have your register and you have your forgot password. You know, this can uh, take enormous time you know, out of the project uh, lifespan, you know, but with this right there out of the box for you in Laravel, you get yourself going and things will just continue to move smoothly. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout uh, this particular session. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Sick Blue to Web Technologies. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to Laravel development. Bye-bye for now.